W.H. Auden said that death is the sound of distant thunder at the picnic. It seems he wasn't the only one to recognise the coming storm as a powerful and potent symbol. I quoted W.H. Auden there in my little introduction, pointing to the coming storm as a potent and powerful symbol. Well, in Bad Moon Rising, it becomes an extended metaphor for the random harshness of life, as well as denoting some kind of moral restitution was, in, uh, was imminent, indeed necessary. And the stones also warned of the coming storm in their apocalyptic gimme shelter, which many have seen as a kind of a cautionary tale against the vagaries and naivety of the, the counterculture, which Pete Townsend himself has dismissed as uh, driven by youthful idealism and drug fueled hope. In Gimme Shelter, this dark and brooding number, Rich's guitar chimes away like a, like a bird of prey hovering over the corpse of the 1960s. And likewise, Bad Moon Rising is now a number that's culturally at least linked with Faustine packs and, uh, and werewolves. Bad Moon Rising is a song that features on the wonderful Credence album Green River. John Fogarty in his autobiography has stated that this was his favourite album. In fact, he said that, uh, I felt like that one hit the bullseye at the centre of my soul. But as I've already said, Bad Moon Rising has an odd history and cultural trajectory. This was actually the lead single of the album and came out, I think, a few months before Green River. It did very well in the UK, getting to number one, and Rolling Stone ranks it as one of the 500 greatest songs ever written. Fogarty's Yowl works beautifully on this record. Uh, it gives it that real campfire feel, which a lot of Credence music has. Interesting, Fogarty says his vocal style is, is in part borrowed from Howling Wolf. But this song, with its wonderfully apocalyptic lyrics and uh, evocative imagery, it seems to have stuck in the public consciousness perhaps more than any other Credence number, maybe because it's just not as swampy as their other stuff. Fogarty states that he wrote Bad Moon Rising into his notebook many years before the actual song was written. He says it's kind of a, a playful subversion of the hippie tendency to ask people what their sign was. I think uh, counter-culture parlance at the time was things like uh, I'm a Virgo with Libra Rising. This inspires Fogarty to start thinking uh, of the titular Bad Moon on the Rise. It's a song that very much speaks of an ill omen and platforms this bristling sense of existential dread as there is simply no way of avoiding the infinite ways that death can just come and take your life. Interestingly, the guitar lick from Bad Moon Rising was borrowed from Scotty Moore. It was a guitar lick that was featured in the Elvis record, I'm left, you're right, she's gone. We're right, I'm left. She's a couple. Right. Hear the... said in 86 he was at an award ceremony when he heard uh, somebody behind him say, give me back my licks. He turned around and saw Scotty Moore standing there. He said, I absolutely gushed and, and told him that I, I lifted everything from him. In fact, he goes on to say, in his opinion, Scotty Moore invented rock and roll guitar. The song was inspired by Fogarty sitting down one evening and watching uh, an adaptation of The Devil and Daniel Webster, which is a short story by the American writer Stephen Vincent Benet. It was adapted for TV in 1960 by Phil Weissman Jr. and featured Edward G. Robinson. And this is what uh, John Fogarty says about that TV production in his autobiography, if you'll forgive me for quoting at length. I was up late night trying to write and I started thinking about this old movie, The Devil and Daniel Webster, about a farmer who sells his soul to Mr. Scratch. The Devil, for good fortune. The part that really made an impression on me was when this cyclone comes down and the farmer is cowering in the barn while all hell breaks loose outside. When he wakes up the next morning, all the neighbours have lost their crops to the storm. Thanks to the Devil, our hero's crops are untouched. What was important to me was the storm, the Devil, and the way this guy had been protected. The song doesn't just uh, speak of this coming apocalypse, this storm. It also sings of the, the consequences and that biblical sense of being ready, being prepared. I hope you got your things together. I hope you're quite prepared to die. Looks like we're in for nasty weather. One eye is taken for an eye. 
And the last line references uh, some sort of payment or pact and evokes Hammurabi's code, a code, of course, that was alluded to by Christ in his famous Sermon on the Mount. What is intriguing about this number is you get a number that speaks of this cataclysmic disaster married to this fairly snappy melody. And John Fogarty himself points to the dichotomy represented in the, the lyrics themselves and the upbeat vibe of the music. And this creates this rather ironic conflation of the message and lyric with the tone and tempo of the music. Fogarty himself has uh, compared it to Guy Mitchell doing Singing the Blues. It's a fascinating number that's uh, often been misquoted. A lot of people uh, have asked, uh, what is this bathroom on the right? Uh, Fogarty, obviously not devoid of a sense of humour, says when he does perform it live, he often inserts that line in the song instead now. Uh, I saw, I was lucky enough to see John Fogarty um, supported by the wonderful Steve Miller band. Uh, I, I never listened to that lyric that carefully. I wonder if, if that, was, that was the case that night. Who knows? I spoke earlier of Faustian packs and werewolves. Of course, the Faustian element comes in uh, with the song being inspired by the, uh, the short story The Devil and Daniel Webster. And the werewolf element is referencing the wonderful classic horror movie American Werewolf in London, made in 1981, I think. Now, I'm really sorry to be upsetting you, but I have to warn you, the wolf's bloodline must be severed. The last remaining werewolf must be destroyed. It's you, David. Now, of course, this song is used beautifully as it uh, is used to represent that anticipation of something dreadful about to happen as the main character uh, uh, deals with his boredom, awaiting to see if the, the prophecy of him turning into a wolf is actually going to be realised. And anyway, even watching my own analysis and history of the classic Credence number, Bad Moon Rising. And if you manage to get to this point in the video without switching off, I thank you wholeheartedly for that and urge you to click like, subscribe and check that notification bell. Other than that, I'll just leave you with my closing salvo, which is, as you know, hope you're staying well, healthy, but more importantly, that you keep listening. Stay on the road. Keep clear to the moors.